Oh, Mariko is busted. The morning Musume is over. Nothing is going well or according to plan. So cute. So cute. Yes, Roman. Speaking of which. Yes, Roman. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just brainstorming how to send away Reyna. What? Kicking her out. You know about what? this. Finding ways to get rid of her and everything. Why would you do that? I don't know. It's only about 2,000 people doing something. I what? don't know. What? Still, still deciding. What? I don't know. What? My Reyna? Such very good colors, don't you think? No. Too My Reyna! Yes. You madman! Why would you make my Raina leave? Did you forget this whole conversation we've had before about her being tired and washed out and dry and un... un... original, unnatural? And probably blocking it out. Mm -hmm. Suka, you can't do this. Suka, oh, please. No. She's getting a band, Roman. Just... Please, not my Raina. <laughs> We'll be getting new members! And they'll be so pretty! I don't want new members. Like models, I don't, cheerleaders. I don't want it's something pretty! I don't want them! I want my Raina to stay forever! Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, Suku, how are you so cruel to me? I'm going back to my office. <laughs> good day, Roman! <laughs> Now avenging Gaki's graduation is quite possibly my greatest moment I've ever had, ever. I don't know how these colors look. Welcome to Morning Musume Monday. My name is Jake. And my name is Jeremy. And this week we are doing the B-sides to help me. Which are a lot. <laughs> and, and incomplete sounding. And Jacob doesn't have a lot to tell you. But I've got some healthy, constructive criticism for the things which Sungu did. I can't be bothered to remember these song titles, so I'm just gonna read them directly from my paper. We have Daisuki Dakara Zetai ni Yurusanai. So the first B-side was a piano ballad duet between Sakura and Riho. I actually loved, and of the four, it was my favorite and really the only one that stuck with me. There's something discordant about this entire song. Maybe it's instruments that sound like a gritty power ballad that just didn't work. Maybe it's the lack of singing and almost entirely spoken vocals. Maybe it's just the badly pitched up Sunku harmonies. This song on a whole just did not work for me. I think the girls both delivered solid vocals, which is not surprising for Sakura and very surprising for Riho. The reason Riho was able to deliver better vocals this time around was because it was not out of her range. It was at a very simple range for her, and she did a great job. The harmonies were nice, the feeling of it was good, I just liked the B-side. Wouldn't put it on my iPhone, but I still liked it. Next we have Happy Dai Sakusen, which is a song sung by all members. Here we have a knockoff instrumental of Diddy Kong Racing, mixed with Daisuke Hyakumanten from Wakuteka Take a Chance. It wasn't Sunku's best work, and I think that because it was a reimagined version of Daisuke Hyakumanten, it was cute as an idea, but it just wasn't original enough. And I feel like Sunku, if he's gonna waste my time with a song, at least don't bury me in the piles of his inadequacy as a songwriter. At least make songs you're writing worth everyone's time, and the people who are actually buying these singles, let it be worth their money. It had some nice arrangements, I'll give you that, Sunku. I liked your choice of electronic arrangements. 
for this B-side. The one thing that I did like about this song is the dissension of the vocals from the members starting from seniority down to the bottom in the first half and then the ascension of the vocals from the members based off seniority in the second half which started from Sakura and worked its way up to Reina. The song on its own was cute enough for a first time listen but I don't think that I would actually listen to it again. Next we have Aishu no Romantic which is a duet sung by Sayumi and Mizuki. Now, Sayumi pretty much blends with everybody and Mizuki is perfection, but this song on a whole just didn't work like the other B-sides of this entire A-side. It had a lot of promise and it started off so well, but much like Sunku's career, once he started inserting his own vocals into the melody line, it just fell flat and went down from there. This song just never had a chance. I wanted to like this one, but something about it just didn't sound right. And I wanted to like it because it was it was Sayu. And I love me my Sayu. But something about this just sounded off and I can't put my finger on it. It sounded muddled in a weird way. In an over-processed, muddled way. It sounded like when you have somebody and they get garage band and they discover the auto-tune and the vocoder and all those over like electronic sounding process vocal processing things all at once. So they're like, mm, I'm gonna record a thong, and they do, and it just sounds like a computer warbling for five minutes. That's what that sounded like, and I wanted to like it. The other thing I didn't like about this song was that several of the lines sounded like Help Me, which, you know, it's a B-side to Help Me, so you know, they should stylistically maybe complement each other, but they shouldn't freaking, it shouldn't, there should not be plagiarization, like, the one line, like, the, the, the chorus just sounded like, help me, and it fucked the crap out of me, and I just don't understand why Sunku insists upon writing five B-sides when he is clearly having to plagiarize himself to do it. Next we have Watashi no Dekai Hana, which means, my great flower. Is this a euphemism for a vagina? <laughs> a wonderful okay, flower okay, okay. with its soft, beautiful <laughs> petals. Stop it. Vagina, vagina, vagina. <laughs> Stop it! This song is sung by Reina, Haruna, and Ayumi. Ow! I just scratched myself. The instrumentals honestly sounded like a really bad Google ad. Reina's vocals were fantastic in the entire song. Ayumi's rapping was really good, and I think as a rapper, she is very successful as far as Morning Musume's rap style. Haruna was really the odd card in this bunch and I feel like Sunku really just had nowhere else to put her and he didn't want to do another duet song so he kind of just lumped her in with her off vocals and weird pitch problems and Aika-esque voice. Again, I wanted to like this song because Reina was in it and Reina delivered some really nice vocals in this song. Reina's vocal lines were really nice in this song. I thought it was in a good range for her and I thought she sounded really, really nice. Ayumi is actually a really good rapper or rapess. Rap her -ess. I don't know. But she was really good in this, and she had like a dark sound to her voice, and it was really like, it was edgy, and I liked it. I mean, I, I don't really like rapping, but you know what, I liked it. There were two things that really killed this B-side, though. The first one was that it jumped so weirdly between uh, Reina's really nice vocal lines and Ayumi's really dark rapping. So we had this sort of like sweet melody line that was really pretty, and then all of a sudden we were rapping and it was, and then we're singing and it, it's not so dark and then it's sweet, and, and it sounded like somebody having a schizophrenic episode, to be perfectly honest. This was further compounded by the fact that we had Haruna trying to rap in this song. Here's why that's a problem. While Ayumi was rapping all dark and deep and she sounded cool, Haruna was freaking pulling an Ika on me and this is how I rap and I'm a rapper. I don't know if she was trying to bridge the gap between Reina's sweet vocal line and Ayumi's dark rapping and be like, well, I'll rap, but I'll rap cute. It was like a bad Nicki Minaj song. Nobody likes you, Haruna. You are the Ika of this generation and I will not have it. Much like the other B-sides, I feel like this song was trying to reimagine a previous song, and I think that Sunku was trying to reimagine Silver No Uradoke, and as a concept, is a great idea because that was a fun song which just didn't have the most pleasant vocals because of Riho. And I think that trying to reimagine the idea behind that where having really 
soft, airy vocals from Reyna, followed by a really aggressive, dark sounding rap was a great idea, but because he kind of sabotaged the song by having this weird schizophrenic sound where Reyna is singing softly and then you have a dark rap, and then in between you have this really clumpy sounding Haruna vocal line, it just didn't work cohesively, and like the other ones, there was something very discordant about it. Finally, we have Nani wa Tomo Are. This is the song that basically was like, here's all the other girls. It has a fun and funky sound to it, and as a song, it's the only one from all these b-sides that successfully tackled the Momusu style we're talking in a singing fashion. Because let's just be real that all these b-sides were talking in a singing fashion. Help Me was the only real good vocal track that Sungu wrote of this entire line and all the rest of them just descended into less singing and less harmonies and more just we are talking and we're singing a song at the same time. This one sounded like the like celebratory theme song from a Mario Party game and it was rather forgettable. I will say, however, that Cannon's vocals were really nice in this song, and I, here's the thing, here's the thing about me. Unless it's somebody I really, really love and who I listen to and listen for, I cannot tell the girl's vocals apart. If I can, I mean, I can tell them apart, but I don't care to put the voice to the face. Like, I just don't care enough for the most part, unless it's somebody I love, like Reina, Sayu, Abe, Mari, Yossi, Gaki, Hi Chan, I'm making myself cry. <laughs> Girls are leaving. <laughs> what am I gonna do? How are you gonna make me review this shit after Sayu leaves? What are you what are you gonna dangle in front of my face to keep me interested? Sakura! I don't even like Sakura that much. I'm like, okay, you got a great voice, but you're not I Chan and you'll never be I Chan. You broke me. You took all the ones, you made me love them, and then you took them all from me. I didn't do it, it's Sunku. You are the one who dangled this group in front of me and was like, this is a good group. You should review the songs with me. Made me fall in love with these girls. You gave me Abe and you took her away. You gave me Yoshi, you took her away. You gave me Aichen, you took her away. Gaki, away. Rina, away. And now you're taking my Sayu. What do I have left? Sakura. <laughs> So, honestly, I don't care enough to remember which girl has which voice and blah 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 unless there's somebody I really love. But, I do remember Cannon's voice because it is good and because it has a different, unique sound. She is the... I'm gonna call her the Lin Lin of her generation because Lin Lin had a good, distinct voice. There was something distinct and rich about Lin Lin's voice. And I, I'm gonna say that Canon has that same quality. There's a very rich sound to her voice. She has this great inflection where, maybe it's just me, but she always sounds like she's smiling when she sings. And I love that. I love when you can hear somebody singing and you can tell the emotion that's on their face. That you can tell, you know, they're heartbroken and they have a sad look on their face while they're singing this, or they are smiling and they're just really happy while they're singing this. Because you can hear that in people's voices. And that's what I like about Canon, and that's why it's upsetting that she is relegated to being the fat one in the group. Because I think she has a lot of potential. Much like Lin Lin and Jun Jun were regulated to being the Chinese girls in the group. It's just unfortunate. Cannon could do so much better, and she could be a shining star in the group and actually keep me interested because her vocals are there and are interesting to me, but Sunku's just never going to give her that because she's the chubby girl. My only real issue with this song is that Aeripon was projecting just a little too much, and by projecting I mean screaming. I really like Aeripon's voice and I think she's adorable, but I think giving her the lines that she got and having her just sing her little heart out just did not work. And that's the general feeling I got from all these songs, that it just didn't work. Um, Canon and Kudo's lines were brilliant, and they sounded stellar. I think they were really the saving grace of this song, which honestly was the most interesting to me, and I think that says something, because it wasn't a very interesting song on its own, but it was the most interesting as far as a melody line and vocals. As a, as a unit, it sounded the best. So overall, I just was not very impressed with all these B-sides, and, you know, 
Sungu did a thing, and I'm glad that he stopped doing the thing, because he's not very good at it. Not the most impressive coterie of songs in Sungu's arsenal. It really was not very good. All of them. They were none of them were good. Sungu <laughs> tried good. really, really hard, All and I think bad. he just is in a slump. And he's been in a slump for a long time, and it's probably the greatest decision on earth that he wrote no B sides for the triple A side. Because it would have been nothing but Hallelujah. I couldn't take seven bad B sides. I just couldn't do that. You guys are the best. We love you. Come back next week. Peace out. It didn't take him out. I had to do that myself, and I was awkward. Help, always. Help me! My lip plumpers popped, and now my lips look like this. The hormone injections that were supposed to keep me young and pretty made me grow a beard. Maybe they misunderstood what kind of hormones I wanted. My face is bruised, it's broken, it's a mess. <laughs> oh, Aki. If Roman's makeover doesn't work, <laughs> this looks beautiful on you. It's just lovely. You're so sweet to me, Aki. You're so sweet to me. <laughs> if Roman's makeover doesn't work, I... <laughs> if it doesn't work, like, oh. shut up, Aki. If Roman's makeover doesn't work, what's my contingency plan, Aki? I don't know. I need a contingency plan. Aki, get your phone out. Let's continue. Get... It's delightful. It's been worse lately. Get the phone. Get the yeah, phone. got it. Call Roman. He's right upstairs. Why did we come to the Hello Project bathrooms? You know how I feel about Hello Project. Listen, I made you and I can destroy you just the same. Call Roman. We came here because, I don't know, I have a lot of good memories in these bathrooms. <laughs> I don't know why I stay here. Suku, you're so cruel to me. Why do you do these things to me, Suku? God, if I had somewhere else to go, I would leave. I would do it. Oh, are you kidding? You have nowhere to go. <laughs> Oh. I don't recognize this number. Roman Ramaji. Hello. This is Mr. AKB Akimoto san. Yanabe had a thing of the AKB Akimoto san offices. Akimoto san, the leader of AKB 48. Seven? Offer him a job. Oh, we want to give you a job. A a job. A job. We want to hire him. So we want to give you a job. We want to hire you. We are, are looking for a costume fashion designer. costume designer of great and lackluster, a beautiful. Design Tell about me. Tell him about my 48 something nubile young girl. We he have that. He's 48 that. new 40. We have 40 something nubile young something or others who are beautiful. Sure if and, too. and we will we we have them and you can design them. Thank you. Special. 40 something girls. Uh, we are going to offer you. A paycheck yes. every month of monthly of of, of three thousand five thousand yen a month. Five thousand yen a month? My God, that's more than Sunku gives me in a year. I just don't know. I I feel like it's such a a gross betrayal of Sunku san. That's why we're better. Okay, yes. Wrap it up. Oh, uh, yes. So we were just wondering. Um, I'll call you back. Oh God. So work, Aki. I have a good feeling about this. Hmm. This plan, because really, 
If I can't have Sun Kung, neither can Roman! And you know what? <laughs> I'm not leaving him with anything. Stop laughing at me. I will take everything Sunko loves and I will destroy it if this doesn't work. I will take his morning musume. I will take his his <laughs> precious little Roman. I will take everything. God, is that my tit? God, it's help! Coming a long way. Oh, God. Much like Sunko. <laughs> Make me pretty hockey. I'm trying, I'm Make trying. Me pretty again. You're pretty. an ugly canvas. It's hard to make an ugly canvas beautiful. <laughs> we just okay. use black everywhere. Uh, stop. Ow, you're hurting me.